What's the book, boy? Uh, nothing, sir. What's it about? Well, it's an adventure, sir. Um, set out in the West, and it tells this amazing story of how people killed the savage Redskins, and how this man, this brave man, hunts the man who killed his father. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Talking of adventure, how'd you like to learn to track elk? Really big ones in the valley this time of year. We could use the meat. Well, I... I know you'd rather read your adventures. Trust me, this can be very enjoyable in its own way. I suppose maybe it's a little less dramatic. So, let's go, come on. You may get to see me get gored by some massive wild beast. Then you can write a story about that. Very funny, Paul. I've forgotten how funny you was. Grab your things. Let's go! Get him! Come on, let's go! Go! When he finds something, you stay back and I'll show you how to make a kill. Whatever you say, sir. Easy. You sure you're ready for this? I guess so. Now the trick to hunting is calm and patience. You gotta think and move like an animal to catch an animal. A rifle helps, doesn't it? Help don't stand still, son. Well, I wouldn't know. This is the first time you've taken me hunting. There's lots of things I ain't done with you, but I'm gonna try and make up for that. You don't seem too excited about this. What do you want me to say, Paul? Yippee! Are you sure you're all right? I mean, I know all that business must have been hard on you. It wasn't nothing. I'm not a kid anymore. Well, it won't happen again. It's over. Until the next time you meet? Jack, he's on to something. You know, one time I hunted a bear up in tall trees. You've never seen a bigger animal in all your life. I read this story about a girl who was raised by wolves, and she'd hunt goats with them and everything. Sounds like a tall yarn to me. Taller than a boy being taken from his home and locked up in a dungeon? I'm just saying. Maybe you spend too much time with your head in those books. I thought you and Ma wanted me to read. We do. So long as you're not, well, hiding from the real world. Jack, there's one up ahead. Yeah, I see it. This one's mine. Stay with me, son. Let's go. Come on! Come on! I'll show you how to cut the meat. I thought it was gonna get away! That was great, Hawk! Huh? You just gotta wait for the right shot, not rush Ooh, it. That's a big one! This meat should fetch a decent price in Manzanita. Hope you were watching. It'll be your turn next. Shouldn't we be going? Go on, Rufus. Sniff us out a couple more. You can do it, Rufus. There you go. You ready to take a shot, Jack? Of course, Paul. Remember, it's all about timing. Wait for your moment. Don't snatch it. I know, yet. I know. I saw how you did it. You say so. All right. When he finds him, you take the lead. Come on, Rufus! Get after him, boy! Slow up! What is it, Rufus? Whoa there! Where are they? Find another one, Rufus! Come on! Whoa, whoa! There they are! Jack, come on! Get after him! That 
That's it, son. Easy. You saw how I cut the meat, Jack. Now it's your turn. Hey, watch it! Nice work, son. You're a quick learner. Now come on. Let's get this meat over to the trading post at Manzanita. Hey, come on! Tough one, ain't you? Come on. Let's get this over. Whoa! You're good, son. Can't we shoot some more? Only kill what you need. We'll go out again soon. You know, I didn't think I was gonna like it. I told you you'd have fun, didn't I? Here we are. Jack, you wait here. I'll be just a moment. Always happy to see a customer. Howdy, mister. Take as long as you like. I saw the... Howdy, mister. Oh, well, let's see what we can do for you. I'll be back with more next time I pass through. Happy trail. All done. Let's head home. Enough to keep Rufus out of the stewing pot for a couple days. And what about me? What do I get? You get to eat, son. But I did half the work. That ain't fair. What can I say? I'm another corrupt landowner. I'll be rich one day. Then you'll see. I sure hope so. Then you can look after us when we get old. What do you mean, get old? You are old. We ain't old. Uncle's old. Well, he should be in a museum. Yeah, preserved in whiskey for the next thousand years. Let's go. So, you enjoy your first hunting trip? It was great, Paul. Herding cows, hunting elk. You're growing up. Proud of it. I always told you I wanted to help. You know, you and me, if we work hard, we can make something of this farm. I'd like that. And thank you for looking after your mother. She said you were very brave. I tried to be strong, like you told me. But Mom, uh, she can look after herself. She soon put those fellas in their place. I can only imagine. Oh, Paul, that was so much fun. 
I can't rightly believe it. Just like in the books. We'll do it again soon. Now get to your chores. Tensing up. I'm not. You are. Your back's tense and it's making the rifle jump. You're holding it wrong. Here, let me show you. I don't need you to show me, Paul. I guess not. Don't show me and you'll just, you'll just run off again or something. It's better I teach myself. I ain't going nowhere. Whatever you say, Paul. Don't be like that. Sorry. Wolves been after the herd. Gotta get out there and scare them off. You wanna come with me? Safer with two. Okay. All right, let's go. Stay on Rufus now. Go. Kid. It's what fathers do. I'm just trying to look out for you. You can't just decide to be a father when it suits you. What about the rest of the time? Come on, Jack. That ain't exactly fair. One minute you're telling me to be a man, the next you're telling me I'm just a boy. It's gonna take a while for things to get back to normal. Normal? Was it ever normal? I don't know, but it'll get better, son. I promise. <laughs> I'm sorry, Paul. You don't need to be. I don't mean to be moody. I'm glad you're home. I really am. It's just every time you go off, well, I worry you're not coming back. I swear, if it was down to me, I'd never have gone anywhere. They can't make you, can they? It's complicated, but seems they can. Yeah, I know. I wouldn't understand. Just some things you start have to be finished. I didn't really know him. He died when I was just a boy. Jack, he's found a scent. Don't give up now. Let's keep moving. Stay with me. Boss, is Uncle really your uncle? No. At least I sincerely hope not. He's probably lots of people's father, though. Why'd he call him Uncle then? Folks always did. Probably because he's always been older than everybody else. He was old when I was a kid. He was old when I was a kid, son. God must have had some purpose for keeping him on this earth. But I sure as hell don't know what that is. What do you smell, boy? Go on, Rufus! Look, son! He sniffed him out! Watch yourself now, son. They might turn on it. Yeah. Soft on the trigger now. Dead now. Come on, Rufus! Where are the others, boy? Come on! Hey, watch it! We got them good, Paul! That ain't all the pack! There's gotta be more around here! This is much more fun than hunting elk! It's always more fun killing something you don't like! Come on! Come on, boy. Let's go. Let's go. Whoa there. Good boy! Oh. Uh. 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 
Jack! Come on! We can't stop now! Alright! We should head back now! We gotta go further than I thought! Come on! How many did we kill? They won't be after our cattle for a while! That was some good shooting, son! So can I go out and hunt by myself now? Hold on there, cowboy! You ain't ready for that yet! One step at a time! Ah, uh, please, huh? We'll go out again soon! Get something nice for your ma to cook. I reckon I could kill a bear, no problem. I ain't gonna tell you again, Jack. You don't leave the farm without checking with me first, you hear? Uh, yes, sir, I hear you. Yeah! Oh, can I ask you something? Of course! Were you a murderer? What? That place where they held us. I shouted at a guard one time, and he yelled that you were a murderer. Maybe. But I live my life believing there's a difference between killing and murdering. Not for the person who's dead. No. And I guess I've been both. But that's how it goes. We all do what we have to to survive. Sometimes it ain't pretty. And in the end, we pay the price for what we did. Like those rustlers who attacked our cattle? Exactly. Look, when I was a kid, things were different. Rules were different, but that's over now. <laughs> You know, we could be outlaws to me. <laughs> All we did was kill a few wolves. I read a book about a father and son who robbed banks. What are we? That was his name. I'm happy with my two arms, if you don't mind. Just imagine it, though. John and Jack Marshall. There's one and one in the wet. And what about your mom? Well, I mean, we still come home. You live in a dream world. It ain't like they tell it in books. And it ain't no way to live life. It was ugly and brutal. All right, gee, I was only joking around. You have a farm of your own. You can read and write. Don't waste your life, son. Don't live like I had to. Turn into a decent hunter, son. But try to stay out of trouble. John! John! What is it, old man? It's Jack. The kid. The kid. Well, I just saw him out in the valley. Seems your tail's a hunt and got the better of him. He said he was going up to the pass, track down that grizzly that's been seen up there. Kid can't hunt a grizzly. Thing will eat him alive. I know. I tried to stop him. But you're worthless as a lawyer at a lynch. Damn you, old man. This is my son. Anything happens to him, you wish it was you that bear attacked. Where is he, Rufus? Whoa! Find 
Jack, Rufus! Let's go! Whoa there! That's it! Good boy! What is it, Rufus? Are we close? You can find him, boy! Slow down! Come on, boy! Where is it? Find Jack, Rufus! Are you up here, Jack? Jack! You up here? on your own. You're just a boy. No, I'm not. I can skin an elk, break horses. Come on, let's get you home. Now hold tight. Come on. Are you all right? Yeah, I think so. You're lucky to be alive, you stupid boy. What'd I tell you about going off by yourself? I go off by myself plenty. You just don't know about it. You're never around. So this is my fault? You disobeyed me. I was trying to prove myself. Prove what? By getting yourself killed? You're always telling me I read too many books, that I'm not a real man. I never said that. I just thought if I could do something you'd like, maybe you wouldn't go away again. Son, I ain't going anywhere. And believe me, neither are you for a real long time. Go! Come on! What's your mother gonna say? I'm sorry, Paul. Please don't be angry. I ain't angry. I'm disappointed. Don't you ever run off on your own like that again. All right, all right. I told you I was sorry. I don't know. I'd probably be dead. You'd be a pile of bones right now. What would you care? I'm just a nuisance to you anyway. That ain't true, Jack. I'd do anything for you. You know that. I guess there's only room for one hero in this family. Trust me, son. I ain't no hero. I'm just glad you're safe. Come on! Yeah! Going after a grizzly? What were you thinking? You've only been hunting twice. I'm not a little kid anymore. What were you doing at my age? Bad things. Things nobody should do. But your mom and me, we didn't have what you had. 
Yeah, yeah, I know. I should be grateful. I'm not asking you to be grateful. I'm asking you to do what I say before you get yourself killed. It's always one set of rules for you and another set for everybody else. You think I don't know what you did back in the old days? I'm not stupid. You could have fooled me. You think I didn't sit up and listen to Dutch and Bill telling all those stories? You think I don't know who you are? It ain't no secret I didn't get these scars falling over in church. But nobody tells me anything. You and Mom pretend like nothing happened. I just want a better life for you, son. Now rest. We'll have you home soon. I'm sorry I made you worry, Pa. Don't be too eager to grow up, son. Ain't as much fun as it looks. When you're ready to hunt bears, I'll take you. <laughs>